So today I wanted to talk about one of my experiments, which was basically a program that would automatically collect footage from Twitch, then edit them together to make gaming highlight videos, and upload them to its own YouTube channel called Robo Highlights. The interesting part about this project though is that it ended up going viral, reaching over 80 million people within 3 months. And I thought some people would find parts of this story entertaining, so that's why I decided to make this video. I started this project a little over two years ago, when I was noticing a bunch of these Fortnite highlight channels that were going viral, and I basically wanted to do the same thing but just automate everything. And after some brainstorming sessions, I got to work implementing my ideas into a Python program. And here's just a quick explanation about how the program works. So it starts off by asking me questions about what type of video should be created. Then it goes and collects Twitch clips that meet the requirements until a time threshold is met. When it's finished collecting clips, it sorts them by their timestamp in the stream or by their view count. After the clips are sorted, it starts to edit them together, adding both an intro and an outro as well as some music. Once the video is ready to be uploaded, it starts to generate some metadata that consists of a description, some relevant tags, a thumbnail, and a title. I really wanted the thumbnail and title to be automatically created, so what I ended up doing for the thumbnail was basically have it focus on the clip with the highest view count, have it take 10 frames before and after the loudest point in the clip to be used in a face detection algorithm that picks the frame with the most amount of faces. And as for the title, I just had the bot steal the title from the clip it was focusing on. And that's basically what it does. Its first video was published on July 30th, 2018, and almost immediately after posting the video, things started to look very good. I just really wasn't expecting the channel to blow up this quickly, and I was honestly surprised when the first ever video posted got a total of two views. But on a serious note, for the next 12 months or so, the channel struggled with most videos getting between 2 and 10 views, with only a handful surpassing 500. I knew things were not working, so I slowed down and figured out what I should do differently. I soon realized that I should improve the channel's click-through rate so that YouTube would hopefully notice the influx of viewers and recommend its videos to similar users. To accomplish this, I decided to work on the thumbnails and titles. I wanted them to stay automated, but after a bunch of tests, I realized that manually creating them would be the best option. Immediately after doing this, the very first video it posted received 66,000 views, and after that the channel just began to snowball as I continued to have it post similar videos. If you check the channel today though, you'll notice that it's inactive. People started bringing up how I kept having it make highlights about a single stream instead of highlights about a specific game, and how it was basically making streamers YouTube videos before they could. I started to agree with them, so I eventually decided to stop the uploads to think about things. The reason I haven't revived the channel is because I don't really like this project anymore. When I started on it, I didn't know much about machine learning, and now that I do, the algorithm behind everything is just too simple for me, and I see a bunch of ways I can make things better with AI, but I started working on another project, and I don't really think I'll go back to work on Robo Highlights anymore. That doesn't mean that I'll abandon the project entirely though. In the future, I want to create something called Robo Studio. This will basically be software that makes it easy for anyone to create gaming videos with the help of AI. The reason I want to do this instead of working on Robo Highlights is because this idea is actually able to scale and is more of a sustainable business model. I didn't really think about this when I was younger and I was just like, yeah, it'll be great. The channel will be monetized and I'll make a bunch of money. The channel actually got demonetized so that didn't end up happening. And I'm also like a totally different person now. So even if the channel was monetized, I don't think I would have been comfortable making money off of other people's content. But yeah, that's basically the story of Robo Highlights. There's some stuff I probably skipped over, so if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll try to get to it. You should also subscribe and follow my Twitter if you want to keep up with what I'll do next. Okay, bye.